Hello guys, welcome to the second video tutorial on PHP programming tutorial for beginners and in this video I am going to show you how to install XMP web server to test your PHP uh, programs. So XMP is a web server so which uh, XMP is a tool by which you can make your computer as a server for testing your uh, your applications so let's see how we can install XAMPP so just open your browser and search for XAMPP and the first link you will find here is from uh, www.apachefriends.org so you need to open this apachefriends.org and you will be able to find these links here for Windows, Linux and uh, Mac OS for now we want this installation for Windows so just click this XM for Windows and then you will be able to download this file on your computer so download will start in few seconds and download has started now you see here and it will take some time for example one minute to download uh, because it's a uh, hundred or more than 100 MB file so I will pause the video and once it will be downloaded I will continue with the installation okay so my download is complete now I can uh, run this executable file from here and it will show you this uh, little warning you can just say yes and the installation will start So installation has started and in between you will be able to see these warnings uh, it will ask you some questions and it will in the last it will ask you continue with the installation you just want to say yes and once again this warning you will be able to see just click OK and click next and these are the tools you will be able to install whenever you are installing XM. So the package will contain Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, and Mercury Mail Server, Tomcat Server, PHP Perl, PHP MyAdmin, and all these things. So I generally uh, leave uh, them all checked because I want to uh, install all of them. And I will click Next. And this is the default location where XM will be installed in your system. C colon XM. So just remember this. We are going to go to this folder to access some files. So just remember this location and click next. And click next. And next. And now the installation will start. It will take some time to uh, uh, the installation to complete. So just wait for... I think for five minutes in five minutes this installation will be completed so I will just pause the video and uh, let this installation to complete and once this installation is complete we will see how to um, go further okay so now our installation is complete just leave this uh, checkbox checked to uh, start the control panel for XM so I will leave it as checked and I will click finish and as soon as you uh, click finish button, uh, the XM control panel will open now. And once you see this XM control panel, you will be able to start MySQL database server and your Apache from this control panel. So if, if it takes uh, a time, you can always go to your start button and search for XAMPP and you can start this XAMPP from here also. You will be able to see this XAMPP control panel. You just need to click this option to start your control panel. Okay. So our control panel has started and now you will be able to see this uh, you can start this apache from here you can start mysql from here and filezilla mercury uh, 
mail server and tomcat from here so how you can uh, start these all uh, the servers and databases now once your control panel is running and if you see uh, some error or red lines here and it's if it says that your port 80 which is used by uh, apache web server is used by some other pid how you can close that that pid and uh, start apache server on that port 80 i will show you first because most of you may maybe you will have port 80 already in use and you will face some problems right so it says port 80 in use unable to open the process with pid 4 okay so what you need to do is you can uh, search for the process which uh, is using your port 80 by going to the start button and search for cmd which will open the command prompt just open the command prompt and in here type in netstat minus a n o so give this command netstat minus a n o and press enter and now you will be able to see all the ports which are in use and the first uh, port which is port 80 you will be able to see the pid of this port 80 which is uh, this uh, 4 so pid 4 is using this port already so i will just kill this uh, port by the command task kill and then give the slash then write pid and the number of pid so my pid which is in use is 4 right so you see here pid 4 is using port 80 so just write here task kill slash pid and give the number of the uh, pid which it's using and press enter and if it says access denied then then probably some important uh, process is using this uh, pid you can uh, use uh, this xm control panel also to see whatever ports are in use so just click this uh, on this control panel there are some button and there is a button called netstat here and in here you will be able to see all the processes which are in use in which port 80 also is in use right so just if port 80 is uh, in use and it's uh, used by system then uh, uh, probably you can change the port on which this apache will be able to listen so to change this what you need to do is for example i want to uh, start my apache web server on um, pro port 8080 how can i do that so because my port 80 is already busy and it's not allowed to use uh, this port 8080 i want to change the port on which my apache web server will listen right so once again i will go to my config button here in front of this apache you will be able to see this uh, uh, start button and this config button i will just click this config button and the first option which is apache httpd.com in here you need to go here and in here search for the port listen 80 so you will be able to see this option here listen 80 here what you need to do is you need to just change it to the port whatever is free on your uh, uh, on your computer so port 80 is in use right now so i will change it to port 80 80 8080 okay and here also i will change it 8080 so that and i will save this file file and save so that uh, this port on which apache web server will listen will be changed to port 8080 okay i will close this and now i will try to start my apache web server and hopefully it will be started and you will be able to see this here port 8080 so it has started on port 8080 okay so if you see this uh, error here 
then this is the solution for that otherwise if it's listening on port 80 you don't need to do anything you just need to just click this start button and you will be good to go okay but if this port 80 is used by some other process then you can change the port like this okay now i will start my mysql server and it started i will show you this message you just need to give the private network and public network and just click this allow access here and now both servers are running now to check whether it's really running we can go to our web browser and just write on your web browser local host okay and it will say not found because i have changed the port to 8080 so now you need to give local host colon 8080 okay and now you will be able to see this uh, XM. okay now here you can choose your uh, language i will choose english and in here i will go to security to change my security options because uh, right now i have provided the public access to my computer so i will change this security so go to the security tab here click the security tab and in here you will be able to see here every ex, uh, these XM pages are accessible by network for everyone and the status is unsecure for these right so to make them secure you need to click this button or this link http slash slash localhost security just click this and in here you will see the password changing option for mysql and ht access okay so you can change this password by giving some password to your mysql for example i will give some password to my mysql and in here also i will repeat my password and i will click change password or password changing and this will show me the result the root password was successfully changed that means my uh, password has been changed same I will do for this XM directory protection which is HT access so I will provide the user is equal to root and some password and I will click this make safe XM directory by this you will be able to see this success the XM directory is protected now all personal data was saved in the file this 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 okay so now you are you have protected all your file and one once you will go to this language english here you will see all the status has been changed to success here uh, secure here green uh, with a green highlight that means your mysql root is successful uh, secured your xm pages are secured and your php my admin is secured okay now for example to test whether it's really running or not uh, you can go to your folder wherever you have installed this xampp so i have installed this xampp in my c directory so i will go to my c directory and this c directory i will be able to see this folder xamppp xampp sorry and in here i the important folder for my use is this ht docs folder so go inside this ht doc folder ht docs and here are all pages you will be able to see uh, from the web server so this is your main gateway to the uh, you know web server so this index.php which you see here is when you go to the browser and this is the index.php you are seeing here this index.php is the same file you can see here in this php this is favicon or and all html and uh, and images so this is where you need to put your all files in order to see them in the browser so for example i will create a new file right click new 
new text document and I will name it this text test document as test and I will open this test document and I will write here this is a test for for XAMPP okay and I will save this save it close this and once again you go to your browser and in your local host colon 8080s just instead of this security and in slash index.php you can just check for test dot text file test dot txt file right press enter and you will be able to see the same message you have saved in your test file this is a test for exam right so whatever you put in your uh, ht docs file you will be able to see it on your browser so that's it for uh, this video uh, hopefully you have understood how to install and how to use this exam on your windows operating system i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now